Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to explain to you how you can prevent duplicate values, duplicate entries in your lists and libraries by using the enforce unique value on metadata. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So sometimes you have a list or a library, and as you enter metadata, you want to um, make sure that you only assign this particular metadata value once, uh, not twice, all right? So just to give you an example, I have this uh, project list over here, just a list of projects, and I have some links pointing to the actual project sites, and I'm tagging my projects by various types of metadata, client uh, name, you know, project manager, status, uh, and, um, you know, possibly other columns. Uh, now, let's just say I also want to create a column that will be my project number. But I also want to make sure that I do not enter the same project number twice, right? You can only have one project with the same uh, number. So let's go ahead and create this column first, all right? Obviously, if you have an existing one, we will be just modifying the existing column. But in our case, it's a brand new column. And um, let me choose, because it's a project number, uh, let me choose the choice field. Here we go. I'm going to create a project number column. This is where I will list all my different choices. And let's just keep it simple, you know, in terms of numbering. All right, so um, just the sequential numbers over here. Uh, now, typically, I would be just click and save, and we would be done. But because we want to make sure that this number, uh, this uh, drop-down choice is only used once, we need to click More Options. And over here under Enforce Unique Values toggle, we need to enable that, all right? So let's enable that. Click Save. So now we, we have our column. And let me go ahead and tag this particular entry. So I'm going to, let's just say this is project number one. So that's exactly what I'm going to choose. All right, perfect. Now let's just say I now want to assign a project number to this one. And in this particular case, I will try to make it one again. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Well, it worked, obviously, because I chose two, but I want to choose one. Look at this. It gives me an error message telling me this value already exists in the list. And essentially, I cannot assign this number uh, because it's been used already. All right, so I'm forced to choose another value uh, from the dropdown. And it obviously it obviously does accept uh, project number three. All right, so it's a nice little technique uh, to uh, to utilize if you want to make sure that particular um, you know sets of metadata, particular values of metadata are only used once on a given list or on a given library. And that's pretty much everything I wanted to show you today. So hopefully you learned the new trick. As always, happy to see you on my blog SharePointMaven.com as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.